Otapaji. It's a state where your body eats itself. Doesn't need a good component, it eats the the weak, bad components. The doctor explains it a whole lot better than I would. But for me, it is the part that I am going to have my body go after the protein on the tips of my nerves. Eat up those proteins. The growth hormone and growth stems will go back and replace it with, with new, new properly made proteins rather than the, to have these deformed proteins on my, my nerves, on my feet. We'll see. But here is the way the doctor explains autophagy. Uh, when you are in the fasting mode, which you wouldn't at other times. And then there's this thing called autophagy. And I know that a lot of people talk about autophagy, and you you, you, you know all about autophagy, but um, for your audience, I'm just going to tell them that, look, when you're running out of fuel and substance is not coming in, you're going to take all your intracellular redundant parts of your cells and say, you know what, I'm just going to use these for energy. Because I need energy, right? So under the circumstances of fasting and some ketone production, you're going to take your intracellular organelles that are redundant, and you're going to basically package them into lysosomes and, and, and basically export them out of the cells so that the body can utilize them. Now, what you've just done is you've cleaned up your intracellular debris, as it were. And same thing with old mitochondria. You're going to get rid of your old mitochondria because the body is now saying, you know what, um, I'm out of fuel here in the house. My fire is, is getting down. Well, you know, there's this old piece of furniture. I'm going to burn this old piece of furniture. That's what it's doing. It's getting rid of redundant furniture. It's going to rid now, when you feed yourself again, those parts are going to be replaced. So the science is now showing that when you clean up your mess in your cells and then you do feed yourself again, you're going to get new mitochondria. You're going to get better intracellular functions and energetics is going to get better in the cell. So I have found, especially right now with, with everything that's going on with, uh, with post COVID and, and the end, you know, the patients coming in, no energy whatsoever. And I tell them to do fasting the energy gets better. And I said, why is that? It's because they're getting mitophagy. The mitochondria are getting better. They're getting new, better mitochondria. So the fasting process is not just about losing weight. It's about changing your entire cellular mechanisms. And we're supposed to have that. That's what keeps us young. Our telomeres also get longer uh, when we're doing this. Uh, they don't they don't shorten so fast, I should say. Um, so there are so many biochemical changes, Drew. It's, it's, it's crazy that we, we didn't... You guys need to listen to this whole video. You need to listen to it many times. But for me, I need the nerve tips of my... In my feet, I need them repaired. And I'm hoping autophagy would have it done. And I'll go into it in more details when I start my fast. It's going to be done on a molecular level with my body. And talking about weight loss. I have zero interest in weight loss. I would be fasting 12 times. I hope not. I hope after six times I could tell, the, hey guys, the neuropathy was taken away and, and, and I, can, I can stop this once a month thing. But uh, if I have to continue, I have to worry, worry about my body mass. 
I know if I let my body mass drop too far down, then I gotta quit. If I don't have enough body mass to fast, then I'll be, I'll be dissolving myself. Not the right thing to do. Looking very forward to my next fast.